We begin with some major new developments just into the newsroom. We have now learned in the search for the missing sub, there has been a debris field that was discovered within the search area for the missing submarine that was last seen and heard from on Sunday. Dre Clark is standing by in Boston with this breaking development. Dre, what more are you hearing from the search and rescue teams at this hour about what specifically they have found? Well, Marty, you know, all morning long, we've been saying that this would be a pivotal day uh, in this search effort with the uh, underwater drones going in. It was going to give searchers a perspective they haven't had all week long. They've been conducting surface searches, but with these PROVs or underwater drones, uh, they would able they will be able to get a really good look 12,000 feet down near the site of the Titanic. Now, hours after that operation began, we now get a tweet from the U.S. Coast Guard. I'm going to read it here. It says a debris field was discovered within the search area by an ROV near the Titanic. Experts within the Unified Command are evaluating uh, this information. I would imagine right now searchers are trying to get a really good look at that debris to see if there's anything remarkably identifiable that they can tie to the missing submersive, the Titan. Uh, this is a very, very deep dive that this uh, underwater drone yes, conducted, it uh, and it is really the first time this week that we've heard this type of thing uh, as it relates to anything uh, debris. We know we heard those noises uh, yesterday, uh, but we still don't know what the source of those noises are. But this is a really remarkable situation happening right now because now they will have to take a really good look at that debris to try and determine if, in fact, that debris field uh, belongs to uh, the missing submersive Ocean Gate or the Titan that went missing on Sunday. Marty. Dre, we are learning that there is now a 3 p.m. Eastern press conference scheduled by the U.S. Coast Guard at which we will learn more about what specifically they have found. Talk about the oxygen levels, the known oxygen, uh, if they were still alive inside this sub, how much time they had left and what they started with on Sunday. Yeah, going into today, uh, or going back to Sunday, rather, the Coast Guard said that those on board, those five men on board, possibly had between 70 and 96 hours of oxygen on board the Titan. Going into today, based on the uh, Coast Guard's timing, today would have been the day when that air supply would have run dry or expired. Uh, so there was a lot of concern knowing that, that perhaps this would be the last day when they would have the ability uh, to breathe there uh, underwater here. But now that we have seen this debris field, it, it shifts, the focus now shifts to trying to figure out what this debris is. And if it is, in fact, belonging to the Titan, uh, this search will once again intensify. Uh, and quite frankly, this may shift from a search and rescue to a search and recovery. Uh, but it's still too early to make that determination. Uh, but Marnie, we suspected that something was going on, something was different today, because the Coast Guard has been holding daily news conferences uh, at around 1 p.m. And they usually make the announcement about the 1 p.m. news conference somewhere between 10 and 10.30. Uh, that did not happen this morning, so we all began to wonder what exactly is happening, why haven't we heard anything in regards to a news conference, and then we get this tweet regarding this debris field found near the Titanic, and it's beginning to make sense. Uh, they have been tied up trying to deal with that issue, and so at 3 o'clock this afternoon here in Boston, we'll be getting a briefing, uh, and certainly there will be a lot of questions regarding that debris field uh, and whether or not they've been able to do anything in the way of identifying exactly what that debris is. Right, Dre, in the last hour, I was set to talk with the rear admiral uh, who you connected us with on scene, and he was pulled into what sounded like an emergent situation. Uh, so we suspected there was some activity happening with the investigation and behind the scenes. Um, in terms of the logistics of this, in the tweet or in what you're hearing from your contacts, are they offering any more details about how much debris, what it might might look like um, and then how they bring it back to shore? Uh, no, the, the, the text, or I should say the tweet coming from the Coast Guard is very generic. Uh, it's a very measured uh, tweet, if you will, again, only saying that they have found a debris field uh, near the Titanic. But we know there are several assets in the way of salvage operations there in that search area. So whatever that debris may be, I'm certain that the rescue teams have equipment or assets available that they might be able to use to bring 
some of that material to the surface. But keep in mind, that also is going to take some time. This debris was found more than 12,000 feet on the ocean floor. That is not an easy lift to bring it to the surface. It's a very diligent and, 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 and uh, if, uh, process where you have to be very careful because you don't want that debris to fall apart. Pardon me. You don't want it to fall apart as you're bringing it to the surface. So it's a very delicate and very time consuming information. Uh, and I would have to believe they are in the process of trying to figure out the best way to get that debris uh, to the surface so they can begin the process of analyzing it and again, looking it over to see if there is anything remarkably identifiable that they may be able to tie to the Titan, the missing submersive. Uh, real quickly, Dre, and then I'll let you go because I know you want to continue to gather for us. Um, where is the staging area for the families of the five crew members? I know that the Coast Guard said they're in constant communication with the families. Are they there in Boston? Are they in Canada? Do we know um, where and how they're communicating and updating the families? Yeah, we don't know if they are here in Boston or in Newfoundland, Canada, because there are two different operations. Newfoundland, Canada, where we also have a team on the ground. That is where the Titan initially started its voyage last Sunday. Uh, we did hear at a news conference yesterday, some of the officials in Newfoundland mentioned the family members, but there has been no sighting of the family members. So if they are here in Boston, certainly we haven't seen them. And I would imagine the team, our team in Newfoundland would probably also have the same experience. So we, may, we haven't been able to lay eyes on them, but we do know the Coast Guard has maintained an open line of communication uh, with the family members. In fact, saying yesterday at that news conference when the question was raised regarding when does this go from a search and rescue to a search and recovery, uh, the captain who's been holding the news conference is making it very clear that whatever decision that we make, that we will discuss that decision uh, with the families first before we say anything publicly. Now you have to wonder uh, if they're having conversations with the family members now because of this discovery of the debris field. Certainly, uh, family members are watching closely, uh, waiting and watching and praying that their family members will be found safely. Uh, but this is not a, a, a good indication to finding this debris field, but we won't know anything for sure until the Coast Guard and the other search teams involved with the effort and operation can really look at that debris to determine what exactly it is right still so many unknowns but a major development and an agonizing wait for these families uh, Drake clark thank you thank you for watching go to newsnationnow.com to find news nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of news nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage